Hello everybody, Raven Knight here, and welcome to another episode of How to Build. This is the series where I go through all of my created For Honor characters, or characters from the campaign, or characters from For Honor and Glory, and I show you how to construct them, what kind of armor you need to have, what kind of weapon sets, what kind of color schemes, all that fun stuff, so that you too can make these characters yourself in your own game. Today we're going to be taking a look at a samurai character that I made with his own legend called Tsukimori Shojiro. Now, you're looking at him right now, and if you haven't seen his legend video yet, I highly recommend checking that out. Uh, it's one of my favorites to write. Uh, I actually had a plan to do this with Kyoshin ever since he was released, because I just really like the idea of a blind swordsman. So if you haven't seen the legend yet, go look in the link in the description. Uh, you should be able to check it out, or you can check out the playlist. I'll leave a link for that at the end of the video, so you can see all of my legend videos and get all caught up. So so today what we're going to do is, uh, like with all of them, we're going to walk through each individual part of how to build them, and I'll give context behind how I built the character as we go. Ready? Let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, when it comes to the armor, you're going to want to start off with the Kuchiyose Alternative Helm. The reason you want this is because not only does it cover up the uh, eyes, because again, we're going with that blind warrior kind of look, but it also gives you the option to customize the hair color, which will be important and we'll get to why. Um, our character, Shojiro, was born blind, and he was also born with white hair and haunting blue eyes. That will also come into play. So we wanted a look that would give him kind of a white hair look, but also emphasize that he's blind and he can't see what he's doing. We technically didn't need the blindfold uh, to emphasize that he's blind, but I thought that it would um, be a helpful hint to let you know and to remind you, hey, by the way, this guy can't see. So I thought it would really, really work out well for him. You also want the Kuchiyose alternative chest. Now, one thing that I want to emphasize about my boy uh, Shojiro here is he likes to be sort of a wallflower. He doesn't want to draw a lot of attention to himself. He doesn't want to look flashy. He doesn't want to stand out. He's kind of this guy who was bullied most of his life for being blind, for um, being, you know, kind of a burden to his family, having his scary blue eyes. So people in his village made fun of him a lot and gave him a lot of grief. So he really doesn't like to draw attention to himself. He wants to stay hidden. So he'd wear a very simple kimono and hakama kind of look, just kind of, you know, just leave me alone. I don't want to be noticed, that kind of feel. So I didn't want anything flashy like the kakurumi chest, which would make him look too austere, or the shuten, which would make him look more like like a vagabond of some kind. Here, it's like, I'm just a simple guy, you know, leave me be. However, for the arms, I use the Kamikakure alternative arms. Now, you might be thinking, well, why didn't I just use the Kuchiyose alternative arms? They look almost exactly the same. The difference lies in the way that the outline of the guards look, the outline of the arm guards that you see there. Notice how they're more brightly white than the Kamikakure. I would rather have a sort of whitish plate rather than a black plate and a white outlining. And the reason for that is because I feel like it melds a little bit better into the clothing color, which is what I was kind of looking for. Again, subtlety. I wasn't looking for anything that stood out too much. I wanted a subtlety, kind of a very back burner, subtle kind of look for him. So that was what I was going for there. So again, in terms of uh, arms and chest and all that, you want the Kuchiyose helm, Kuchiyose alternative chest, and, Kuchiyo and Kamikakure alternative arms. Sorry, got a little bit caught up there. All right, now, as for the weapons, very easy. You need the Worshipper Blade, Worshipper Guard, and Worshipper Scabbard. Now, the reason for this is not just because, you know, Shojiro's pious or whatever. It's because, like I said before, he doesn't want anything flashy. He's not going to want the Paradise End. He's not going to want the Curse of the Spirits. He's not going to want Akura Kamui. He's going to want something that's very simple. And this is a basic steel sword, wooden scabbard, a wooden handle blade. I thought that this would work a whole lot better for him because it looks like something he could use as a walking stick as well as a blade. And since he's blind, he would have a, a stick to help poke around with he wouldn't want something flashy or fancy that's going to draw a lot of eyes because frankly he doesn't want to draw a lot of eyes and plus he couldn't appreciate it anyway why would he want something fancy like paradise ends when he can't even appreciate it hey do you like my super fancy scabbard i hope you do because i don't get it i don't see what's so good about it i can't see it you know so he wants something very basic very simple something that's going to help him wander around and tap the ground so that he can see where he's going but then he can turn around and whip it out as his blade as well so something basic it's simple he is very simple all right so, in, 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 in conclusion on this part, Kuchiyose alternate helm, Kuchiyose alternate chest, Kamikakure alternate arms, Worshipper blade, Worshipper guard, Worshipper scabbard. 
okay? As long as you have that combination, you will have what you need for our boy Shoujiro. And for those of you wondering, does, Sho does Tsukimori Shoujiro have any meaning to it? Honestly, I was thinking about it. Tsukimori can mean a uh, moon forest or forest of the moon. And I thought that that fit with his kind of pale hair and blue eyes kind of look. I thought that that would be really cool. Like a moon seen through the forest, a bluish hue that looks very mysterious and ghostly. I thought that would work. And as for Shoujiro, um, actually I got it um, from, it, this is going to sound weird, but from the character from Persona 5, uh, Sojiro, uh, who is basically this owner of a cafe who was had a very similar mentality as Shoujiro here, kind of this... I've seen a lot of hell, I've seen a lot of crap, I kind of want to just be left alone and mind my own business, but eventually Sojiro does learn, you know what, that mentality doesn't get you very far, you need to learn sometimes to stand up for yourself and fight for what you believe in, and that's something that Shoujiro here has to learn in his story, so that's the reason, Tsukimori Shoujiro came from that, I just thought I'd share that. Alright, so moving on, moving on, alright, so for your traits, uh, obviously body type is going to be default one and you're going to have this skin color you want the default last option skin color you can go with option one if you want to but i think that this one just looks a little bit better looks a little bit more natural all right next for your chest you're going to want the stellar blaze three this is incredibly important stellar blaze three comes from the kyoshin hero offer or the stellar blaze elite outfit and you can get the stellar blaze elite outfit here this is what it will look like if you get it. I really like the um, paint pattern design for Stellar Blaze 3. You're going to be using it a lot for this outfit design. What I like about it is the natural um, subtle hue that changes. Like it starts off very light center and then spreads out into the blue. It looks very nice, very pretty, but also in a way kind of simple. It's not something that's going to be extravagant. It's not going to be fancy. It's not going to be all these really cool, crazy colors and designs. It's just very simplistic. And again, that's what we're aiming for. No need for a symbol or an embossing, just the paint batter, Stellar Blaze 3. All right, next, for left shoulder and right shoulder, you don't need anything. Why? Because you've got an ornament covering it, so you won't need it. The ornament in question is called Scorching Sun. It's one of the basic ones you can get for our boy Kyoshin because it looks like his symbol. Um, that's the one you're going to want to get. It covers up the arm, and I think that it works very well for him. You technically don't need it. You could go without it, but I like to use it to give him a kind of ornament that he wears to mark where he comes from. Now, for the back, you're going to want the Stellar Blaze 3 again, same one as last time, but this time you're also going to want the symbol Living Flame, which is easy. You should have it as soon as you get Kyoshin because it's accessible at uh, Reputation Zero Level 1. So this should be an easy one to get. I like how it imprints itself on the white, but you can start to make out the symbol as it fades into the blue, which, again, is a very nice uh, pattern that I really like to see in my Kyoshin. And then for legs, you don't need to add anything for the symbol, but we'll get to that. Stellar Blaze 3 again. Again, I just really like that uh, paint pattern. But for the symbol, I added Epic Dragon, which you get at Reputation 11, Level 6. Again, you technically don't need one for it. You don't have to have it. You could very well go without it and make it look even more simple. But I thought I'd uh, add a little bit of a design, maybe a little bit of a preference. Almost like uh, Shoujiro was sitting there saying, you know... Could you guys put something cool on it, like maybe a little dog or a dragon or something? And they just said, okay. So I, I thought it'd be nice if he added a little bit of personality to it. Not a lot, but just a little bit. So that's what you do for that. Now, material, this is where it gets important. You need white iron. Like, th this is non-negotiable. If you want the white hair look that we need for Sojiro, you need the white hair. And in order to get that, you need the alternative Kuchiyose helm because you can change the hair color with the material, and the material in this case is white iron. Now, technically, you could just limit it to just the head. You don't need it on everything, but you will need the white iron to make this work because nothing else will work. If you turn off the white, if you turn off the white iron on the head, notice how it becomes gray there and it doesn't look quite as good. You want that white because uh, Sojourner, part of the reason he was bullied was because he's albino and has haunting blue eyes and we'll come to the blue eyes in just a minute so that is important to get that material and then for colors the ultimate what color scheme am i using shorelines you want to use shorelines for this which you get at reputation 10 level 20 so if you have a kyoshin at reputation 10 level 20 or higher you can get uh this paint pattern now 
You'll notice that if I change it up to stellar profits, it looks a lot different and not quite as good. I like the shorelines because of how subtle it looks. It looks very nice without being too grandiose or wild or crazy. He doesn't pop with, he, he pops with all of these, but with this, he does not pop. It looks very nice, very simple. Again, playing that wallflower, just kind of don't pay attention to me. I thought that this would be a very nice one for him to wear and it matches his hair and eyes incredibly well. So now you know how to basically build him. So let's talk about his feet. First of all, I gave him Kagero, which is his default first feet, and Hikari More, which is his second feet. It, both of these feats basically affect his um, uh, ca his countering, like his uh, counter attacks, basically, where if you hit his all guard, he gains these properties. It gains a bleed property and a heal property on all attacks afterwards. Um, I thought that since uh, Shojiro was training under the Kyoshin, he would obviously learn their arts and their techniques. So these seemed like a no-brainer for him. But for the third feat, I did not give him Hikari Tokage, which is where he can activate his tier one and two automatically. While I do like that feat, I prefer to give him tough as nails to suit his character because not only does this give him a little bit of extra health, but because he's been bullied and abused and picked on so much in his youth, I figured he's used to taking a bit of punishment. He's used to getting kicked around. He's probably used to bumping into things considering he's blind. So he's learned how to take a hit and keep going. So I thought tough as nails would fit very well for him. And then finally, Mugen Hoyo. Uh, Mugen Hoyo is the fourth default feat, which basically allows you to cast a spell or whatever, which locks your opponent in place for a brief period. Again, since he's trained under the Kyoshin, he would probably know this ability and know how to use it. Plus, it'd be really cool if he's blind and could use it because he would have to really feel the nature around him to know where to cast the spell. So I thought that would be a cool idea there. Now, for his executions, I gave him Savage Sandstorm. Card. I use Card of Absolution as a joke, but if you want to go for, I, I mostly use that because, again, if he's learning all these secret arts of the Kyoshin, wouldn't it make sense that he would know this one? But if you want a different one, you can go with Relentless Windstorm, since Relentless Windstorm was a move he used in his actual legend. So I definitely recommend Ruthless Windstorm if you have not, Relentless Windstorm if you don't have it already. I just use Card of Absolution because I think, well, it's a fun, not only is it a funny execution, it could be something that maybe the Kyoshin taught him how to do. So, anyway. I also have Might of the Winds because, of course, you need an anime execution for an anime-inspired character. And Celestial Discipline. He doesn't use this in the Legend, but as he gains skill and capability as a warrior, I could see him being able to do this. It feels like something he'd want to do. Plus, notice how he um, pokes his opponent in the chest with it. That almost feels like he's blind and he's poking out to see where they are, and then he attacks. So I thought this would be fit very well for the Blind Swordsman thing. So again, you don't need Card of Absolution. I just think it's a nice touch. If you want to replace it with something, replace it with Relentless Windstorm. All right. For emotes, I use Solemn Bow and Bend the Knee. You could also use Wind Rise Salute if you wanted to. And for combat, Through the Veil and Heavenly Guidance. For signatures, I use Serene Return, you know, his kind of default one, because there aren't any others in the signatures that I think really fit him, but this one I thought would fit very well. And then finally for effects. All right, I made a little mistake with the free roams here. Rising Suzaku was what I used on him when I first made him, but after I got the legend story down, I got rid of those. So I'll get rid of those right now. You do not need Rising Suzaku for those. Um, you literally can just use them as default. But for the execution, you do need an effect. You need behind these blue eyes. Remember how I said that he has haunting blue eyes? I thought that with the behind the blue eyes effect, um, you have this glowing blue aura to your eyes. And I thought, wouldn't it be so cool as, as he's executing them, he removes his, banda his bandages to reveal these frightening blue eyes that terrify his opponent. And they seem to glow with an unearthly aura. Kind of like that character from Jujutsu Kaisen who when he takes off his blindfold you see these kind of celestial eyes maybe not in the same way because I'll be honest I did not watch Jujutsu Kaisen when I first designed Shoujiro but after I saw Jujutsu Kaisen I was kind of like hey that, that's that, that's Shoujiro right there so I promise I didn't steal from Jujutsu Kaisen um, but I think that is a cool um, addition there so in any case those are what you're going to want you're going to want those for all of his executions because whenever he does his kill um, that that effect is going to add to the overall lore behind him about those terrifying blue eyes that he has. And that 
about wraps it up for Tsukimori Sojiro. I really loved writing his story. It was a lot of fun putting that together into a legend video. Again, if you haven't watched the video yet, I would definitely recommend checking it out as well as all of my legend videos because I've got a whole playlist that you guys may enjoy of different stories that I've told about my For Honor characters. You'll get to hear all about Ruth, about Deborah, about um, Aran, about a lot of really cool characters that I've created, not just uh, Sojiro here. What do you guys think of Sojiro? Is he a character that you guys enjoyed? Have you heard his story? If so, what do you think about his story? Do you enjoy it? Um, will you be designing your Kyoshin to look like him as well? Or do you think that you have any characters you'd like to meet, Shojiro? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And as always, guys, I will see you in my next video. Take care.